And the battle of the generations is heating up once again. Generation Y has copped a beating this week after a controversial debate on the ABC's Q&A show. Yeah, the show, which covered young people's views on everything from gay marriage to political apathy, had critics saying they're all self-obsessed and care more about their Facebook profile than world issues. I don't agree that we are disinterested. I think that's something that old people say because they don't like us because we're going to live longer than them. <laughs> um, <laughs> Twitter has been running wild with comments since the show aired, as you would expect, with people calling the generation lazy and apathetic. But are young adults really that bad? Uh, for more on this, in Sydney, we're joined by Gen Y researcher Claire Madden from McCrindle Research, Daily Telegraph reporter Joe Hildebrand. I noticed your tweets are in there amongst That's that, right. Joe. Yeah. Good, He's here in the studio. And in Melbourne, we have young entrepreneur Rosalind Kogan of Kogan Technology, who appeared on Q&A this week. Good morning to you all. We're going to start with Hello. you, Claire. Good morning. Uh, how do we define Gen Y? So set us up. Who exactly are they? Well, Gen Y are the most formally educated generation we've ever seen. They're also the most materially endowed, technologically literate and globally connected generation. They were born between 1980 and 1994, so they're currently aged between 17 and 31 and make up one in five Australians and 18% of today's workforce. Oh, oh, Joe, are Gen Y really lazy and self-obsessed and materially endowed? And, yes. you're all, and you're older than 31. That's so. right. well, they, they are materially endowed. That's why they get to wear those tight jeans, whereas I can't. <laughs> and um, look, yes, they are lazy. The reason, the real controversy about Q&A was that it was 9.30 at night. They were the only five Gen Yers who were up. <laughs> the rest of them were all still in bed. <laughs> you know, I mean, their, their parents, you know, took to the streets to protest for their right to buy investment properties and <laughs> take caravanning trips. And now they just want to spend all that money. <laughs> Rosalind, you're part of Gen Y. What do you think? Um, well, yeah, I think that the way that we communicate is changing and we don't need to take to the streets anymore. So Gen Y is more involved than ever before, but they don't care about the politicians. We care more about the actual real issues. And that's why, you know, we're not trying to contact our local MP for two months. We'd go out there and start up a Facebook group. You know, we're constantly discussing these issues. If you look at any news article out there, there's hundreds of comments on it, and that's what Gen Y is all about. We've got easier ways to express our views, to discuss these issues, and we're doing this full time, all day, every day. So I'd say we're more involved than any generation has ever been. Yeah, Claire, do you agree with that? How, how different is Gen Y to previous generations? Because everybody's wanted a voice and wanted to be heard over the generations. Yeah, that's right. Well, Gen Y have grown up in the best economic times, really, that Australia has ever seen. So they've never known a total war. They've never known an eco economic depression or high unemployment or inflation rates like previous generations have. As a result, they are a very optimistic generation, yet maybe not as resilient as previous generations. But they are used to having a voice and using those social media platforms uh, to do so. OK. Do you think that gives them a sense of entitlement, Joe? What, what, what's your problem exactly? You know, you know what Gen Y are entitled to? You know what Gen y, they're entitled to a real job. That's what they're entitled to. A job that doesn't involve website design. How about that for a change? <laughs> and what's, what's with everything else? Like, you know, it's not just the stovepipe jeans. What's with the pastel V-neck jumpers? I mean, where that? You want to be taken seriously? Stop dressing like a girl! Unless, of course, you are a girl, in which case that's probably okay. But then the girls wear shirt dresses. What's that? Is it a shirt? Is it a dress? Is it ironic? You know what? It's not ironic anymore. It's, it's gone full circle. It's just onic. And that's stupid. And the beauty of this, Gen Wise, is that you can tell Joe exactly what you think. Head, just head to Twitter. That's right. I'm just going to let him know that right Facebook now, status exactly. to say I'm on TV. Fendo, thank you. Thank you, Rosalind. Thank you, Claire. Thank you. Thanks.